Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you guys how you can make anything face your player like this. So enjoy. All right. So first you need a prop. In my case, I have this PNG image, which I'm going to be using. Now, first you go into your PNG image. So wherever you have this, in my case, I have this here. I go in here. You want to make sure. So you see here in the left, the bottom left corner, there's this X. You want to align this with uh, the opposite of the X. So for example, my X, if I'm facing this way, you see it's going to the right. So I'm going to turn this facing left that way it's facing the opposite and that's going to help us uh, that's going to help this thing face our player then you want to compile and save that all right you can see now that turned around so that's cool all right now for actual device go into your verse verse explorer and we're going to create a new device here so right click add new verse file uh, sorry png face player underscore device and you can open that so the way we're going to do this is uh, we have a let's say this is our prop so our png image right and let's say this is our player. So the prop, let's say, is facing this way. So I'm going to draw an arrow or a vector here to represent the direction that my prop is facing. Now, I want this to be facing this. So I would draw an arrow like this, more or less. Just pretend that's straight, right? But basically, I want to rotate this so that it ends up here. And we're going to use that doing a make shortest direction function it takes two vectors it takes firstly the vector here the so the one facing front and secondly the vector that i want to rotate to in this case this i'm going to color it blue vector like this all right now the way we get this blue vector is by subtracting my player position so my position of my player minus the position of my uh prop here so minus my prop position right and that's going to give me this blue vector here and the red vector we're just going to using a function called get local forwards and add that into our actual prop all right so in here firstly we need a reference to our prop so i'm going to make an add editable just like that it's going to be my actual creative prop now in here i'm going to do a i'm going to create a function i'm going to call it do base player all right we have to add this suspense thing and we're going to type void, all right? We need, so first we need our actual player. And to do that, first I'm going to create a player list. So players of type array player equals array. And you have to add this var keyword. And in here in your arm, unbegin, just do set players equals get play space dot get players. That's going to give me a list of all players. Now in here, firstly, we're going to do if uh, see player equals players of zero so it's going to get the first player in your island and then we want to get our fortnite character from that so fortnite care equals player dot get fort character and to use this we have to go up here and do using slash fortnite dot com slash characters all right so remember we need our player position and our proposition i'm do player position and i'm going to call this position it's going to be equal to my fortnite dot get transform yes yeah, so fortnite character dot get transform dot translation my position and we do the same with the prop so we do png position all right all this good now we need the actual front vector so we're gonna do png front just do png dot get transform dot rotation so we access the, the rotation and we do get local forward that's going to be the forward vector uh, now the problem with this is that this vector is going to be starting from the origin so zero zero and we need that to start from our png position so all we need to do is just add my png position and we're going to get the proper png forward vector all right so here i'm only going to be rotating my uh png left and right so i'm going to make uh, a few new vectors they're basically the same thing but just in 2d so i'm going to create a player uh i'm going to call it 2d it's going to be equal to a vector 3 okay so i'm just going to pass in my player pos and i'm going to do this so x equals player position dot x so i'm just getting i'm assigning the x to the x so nothing special there and same here, we do player position dot y, but the z, I'm just going to make this 0, 0, 0, 0.0. So I'm basically getting the same vector again, but just setting the z equal to 0, 0. And we're going to do the same with our PNG. So PNG. All 
So we get the same positions from our X and our Y. And of course, make this capital. But I'm just going to make our Z 0, 0. Okay, like that. So just the same thing. And the same with our PNG front. So. Y and Z equals 0, 0. All right, so just removing the Z axis from here, but it's basically the same vector, but just with the Z modified. Now, once we get that, we can do, we can create a new rotation. So the new rotation is going to be equal to my make shortest rotation. Remember, it takes our initial vector, which is going to be my PNG front 2D. And it's going to be my, the vector that we want. And as you can recall, that's my player position. So player 2D minus my PNG position. So I'm going to PNG 2D. All right, so like that. So now we can do that. So now we can call this if PNG dot teleports to, and we're just going to pass in our original position. So just my PNG position and my new rotation is going to be my new rotation. All right, so if we can do that first, I'm going to sleep for 0 0.01 seconds. So my program doesn't crash. And then lastly, I'm just going to call my do face player function. Okay. So the reason I call this again is because once this is done, right, it's going to do it all over again. And once that does it all over again, it's going to do it all over again. And basically it just does it forever. It's what's called a recursive function. So it's going to recursively call itself once it's done. Now we set the sleep because otherwise um, it's going to be go way too fast. And um, what I found is that your game usually sort of uh, crashes. So that's why I set the sleep variable. Here. All right. And finally, all that's left is below here. Just call your do face player function. Now back in Unreal, first you want to build first code and you want to drag out your new creative device. In my case, I call it, call it PNG face player device. And in here, specify your PNG. So in here, I'm just going to get this and pick this. And you can see that's my PNG. So I'm going to build the first code and I'm going to push changes or launch your session to see that. All right. If I start my game, I should see this image, you can see it turns around and it faces me. And you can see that even if let's say, for example, I jump over it, it's going to turn around and face me. All right. So you can see that it's facing me. All right. Sorry if it's not too visible, but you can see I jump around and this faces me always like that. All right. So that's how you can make that face you. I hope that was helpful and yeah.